Oh my god, it's been a long time. And I mean a long time since I've made a cartoon news video. Yeah, like that. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be tackling five cartoons that are coming back either in new series or new projects. So yeah, sit back and, and enjoy the show. We have a lot of things to cover here and a lot of making up to do. Okay, let's start off with regular show. Anyone remember regular show? The show that premiered back in September 2010 and lasted until January 2017, lasted eight seasons and 245 episodes. It was one of Cartoon Network's biggest shows and still remains as one of Cartoon Network's best shows. Well, apparently, we apparently, um, a revival of the show is apparently on the way with its original creator on board. An entitled regular show project. Details on the new show are being kept under wraps. It's not even known if Mordecai and Wrigley are back. The key, however, is that it's from J.G. Quintal. At Academy, the only tease was a black screen and announcing a new series revealed as regular show, two dramatic drum rolls. The show is entirely new, though it will feature some characters from the original series. New series announcement was met with whoops of joy at NSE. So as you just heard, not much details about the regular show revival is pretty much known. Also, it's unclear if Mordecai and Ripley are going to make an appearance in the show, or if they're going to even be in the show. But then again, we're in the show's, we're in the revival's first steps, so we're just going to have to wait for more details surrounding the revival. Next, we have Adventure Time, another big Cartoon Network show that helped out the Renaissance Eras back in 2010. Adventure Time has already seen many revivals throughout the 2020s. Distant Lands and the Fiona Cake Adult spin-off series on HBO Max. However, this franchise is seeing three new projects that we'll be seeing at some time. Adventure Time SideQuest, as Variety has just announced while Adult Skew Fiona Cake is airing on Max, SideQuest takes the franchise back to a kid show. Making it marking a return to early days with Kid Finn and Best Buddy Jake fighting monsters on epic quests and episodic series, and skewing the long stories, long story arcs of later Adventure Time. Side quest looks set in the same world as the early original repeating characters, such as the villain, the Ice King, Nate Cash, a creative and then supervising director on Adventure Time, figures as the series creator. The other project, Hey Bimo, the first ever Adventure Time preschool series. In the fantastical land of Ooh, the little robot BMO is on a new adventure now settled in a new neighborhood with new friends. BMO approaches each challenge he faces with his unique brand of influence and curiosity in a quest to learn and fill his database. The description runs, and the Muto Adventure Time showrunner from mid season 5 returns as the main creative talent alongside Ashley Anstey, a storyboard artist on Distant Lands. And finally, the Adventure Time movie, built by CNS, as Jake and Finn embark on their greatest adventure yet. What they find changes the world entirely. Rebecca Sugar, behind Steven Universe and the storyboard artist on Adventure Time seasons 2 and 3, serves as the creator with Muto and another Adventure Time veteran, Patrick Mihail, a writer, creator, director, and storyboard artist on the original series from 2010 to 2017. As you just heard, these three upcoming projects takes the franchise in a new level. SideQuest takes Adventure Time back to its original roots to be in the kids show. Hey Bimo is the first preschool show of Adventure Time. And we're getting the Adventure Time movie, though it's unclear if it's going to be a theatrical movie or a TV movie, as, again, details are still minimal at this point. But seeing Adventure Time return to its classic roots is a first for, a fr for the series for in a long time. And Hey Bimo may be 
the first time Adventure Time is tar- targeting an audience, a, a younger aud- a, a, a preschool audience, since Fiona and Cake is the first time we see Adventure Time enter the world of adult animation. And the Adventure Time movie, which well, I think was announced a, th- a bit early in the show's run, uh, like late in the show's run, though I don't think it really got it got anywhere. So it's not to see nice to see that work that the movie that there might be a chance that this movie could happen or is or this may be a different type of movie. I don't know. We'll just have to see what comes to our Adventure Time. Now we have Foster's Home. Foster's Home's revival has already been showcased somewhere in the 2020s as being a preschool show being targeted for a younger audience for Hanna-Barbera Studios Europe. Well, now we are getting our first look of, of the upcoming revival of a new take on Foster's Home. What you're looking at right now is our first look of the upcoming Foster's Home preschool series titled Foster's Fun Time for Imaginary Friends. In the poster, you can see Blue with a bunch of unknown, probably new, imaginary friends behind them. You might notice the art style. Blue looks a bit shinier than than the original version. And while the other imaginary friends, I'm assuming, is probably in different types of animation styles. Now, the premise of the show is that a now young group of preschool imaginary friends learns from an immature elderly friend, Blue, who, as in the original, still un- unintentionally gets things wrong. Craig McCracken has promised the same fast pace, but a fun, simpler structure and less sensical humor. Only Blue and Madame Foster return. So, with the information we've been given, Foster's Fun Time, despite its target audience being for preschoolers, will still retain the show's original fast pace. It's also worth noting that Blue and Madame Foster are the only characters returning from the original series, as we're treated to a new, new set of new characters, preschool age. Now, while Foster's was one of Cartoon Network's biggest shows, and I even heard that it was responsible for saving Cartoon Network, I don't know how well it would turn out in the form of a preschool series. I don't know, maybe it could be as good as the original series, I don't know, but like with the other reboots, we'll have to see. Next, we have Go-Go Mystery Machine. An upcoming Scooby-Doo series. The premise of the this show is that while visiting Japan on the ultimate foodie adventure, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo unwittingly unleash hundreds of mischievous mythical monsters that are now causing trouble all over the country. One thing that should be noted is that unlike the other incarnations of Scooby-Doo, Go-Go Mystery Machine is aiming for a more anime Japanese style in its animation which which may which I don't know how to feel about that because I mean when you look at other Scooby-Doo series like Mystery Incorporated they actually did a kind of a great job job with animating the characters while trying to resemble their original looks but try to give them more of a modernized look but when you attempt to make them Make them into a more of a Japanese anime type, especially when you know what happened with the Powerpuff Girls. I don't know. Maybe it's just that Scooby Doo may just. I don't know. Maybe Scooby Doo may not be one of those cartoons that is well fitted for stuff like that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it could be good, but I don't know. It's also worth noting that I don't see any mentions of Velma, Fred, or Daphne. I don't know if they're even gonna be in the series. As it's mostly focused on Scooby and Shaggy, but like with the others, it's only been it's on, it's only been recently announced. So I think we're just gonna we're just gonna have to wait a little longer to see what this new incarnation of Scooby Doo brings us. And lastly, we have updates regarding the amazing world of Gumball. Gumball's revival is already practically known at this point, with the show producing its seventh season. However, we are. However, we have gotten our first episode 
of the seventh season. The episode is titled The Burger. In the episode, Gumball and Darwin attempt at healthy eating. However, they find out that it's much impossible to do so. Not really, not really much can be said. It's just a simple, silly premise of a Gumball episode. And that's pretty much all I can say. That's so far. That's the only episode from the seventh season that's been revealed. And then again, the title card is still a TBA. As for information regarding the movie, let's just say the movie is on limbo at this point, where it's still happening, except it's not in the in its original form. Maybe it could, I don't know, maybe something might change. And we've also got a release date, well, mostly because of the production. We're going to be seeing Gumball's seventh season somewhere around 2025 or 2026. That could change, but... For, for right now, we'll just have to wait and see. And that is it for this video. I know I haven't been doing a lot of these lately. And that's because it hasn't really gone up to my interests. And considering there's a bunch of new upcoming anime projects, it's kind of, be, it's kind of hard to talk about those. I will try to continue some of these as there are more upcoming animated projects but time could tell and to be completely honest we are literally living in the dark ages of animation where basically everything basically every upcoming anime project is basically a revival or an old continuation of an old franchise basically saying that originality is practically dead at this point and with Everything that's been going on with a lot of stuff. Well, I'm just hoping that that the future for animation has a bright. I'm just hoping that there's a bright future ahead of, ahead of, of what's going on. So that's all I can say about this. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, and that's all I can say. So take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.